Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Let's Play. How many tailing dobs have we done? What's going to happen when this guy gets wherever he's going? He's going to get his severance package. I can't tell if that's some creepy euphemism or a plain statement of facts. It's whatever you want it to be. Okay. Don't play the Jedi card with me. I've seen Star Wars one too many times. And I haven't even seen the new one, which is old. And I'm not even going to go see Rogue One. Like, I just... Hey, you mind? Put away the smartphone or pad or whatever the hell that is for a minute. No surfing while I'm trying to tail this guy. It's work-related. Is it? Yeah, well, I'd prefer all hands on deck right now, if it's okay with you. <laughs> Dude, me and God, Michael you're worse than my son. Thing. You want to break into the FIB's West Coast headquarters, you're going to need more than a janitor's license plate number. And let huh. me work on some angles while you uh, right. keep this car behind that one in between these white lines. Oh, That's it. I mean, other than a few missing expletives in terms of racial abuse, that was my son in spades. Spades, huh? What about hearts or diamonds? Maybe clubs? Your son's probably in a club. A cult club. Hey, dude. What, dude? What, dude? Bro, bro, no, did no, you catch no, that no. game last night, man? Sorry, dude, I was too drunk. Anyway. Anyway, things, things are pretty good. I'm seriously just happy to be here doing this. Like, even though it is a little bit extraneous, I'm happy to be able to do all the things I'm doing. I just wish I'd sleep at night. Dude, I had the weirdest dreams last night. I never have, like, nightmares. Well, I've had them before, but I've never had one quite like this. It wasn't like I woke up in a cold sweat. It was just really explicit. And it was very creepy, first of all. Creepy and very explicit. Uh... I remember it. I don't remember, you know how when, when you're in a dream it, it pans out and it makes sense sometimes, like segments kind of go together, you know what I mean? Well, I can't remember how the segments flowed, but I do remember what happened in the dream. Start. <laughs> Haunted Mental Asylum is where it starts, okay? No joke. That's just how it began. And then... You see, I don't want to go into the graphic detail about what I saw and what I experienced in this dream. But let's just say there were things kind of like in Hellraiser, like the Cenobites, pretty much doing what the Cenobites do. And, you know, this whole time, like, I'm having to watch all my friends and these strangers that I've never met. I'm trying to save them and get them out of this place because apparently I'm the only guy that knows the way out and I'm watching them to be essentially tortured and transformed into these these monsters, you know. It's it it wasn't it wasn't like a Hellraiser movie. Yeah, Hellraiser's pretty explicit and it's rated R for a reason. It's, you know, gory. It was take Hellraiser and then multiply it by Jersey Shore steroids. And that's pretty much what you get. It's 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 about as dark as I've ever had a dream before. And at the same time, like while I was in it I didn't expect anything different. He's pulling up. Park down the block. It's like I wasn't surprised at anything I saw. But I was... I don't want to say I was shocked, because that would be condescending. It didn't surprise me, but it shocked me. Time to make me. Harvey that, an offer. That Feel him out. Sense. Hey, Marilyn. Oh. How's that cable connection coming? Hey, girl. Fine, fine. Sorry, look, um, I'm busy. Only when she needs something. Oh, sorry, man. I just like every girl, and you deserve this, honey. Oh! You deserve every finger of that fist. <laughs> anyway. See, women like that's exactly what's wrong with the world today. If it was 1985, it'd be like, dude, let's go party, man. You're off work. But now it's like, no, sorry, I gotta go attend my 401k. Anyway. I usually wait till he gets inside. I don't know, I don't know why. I just kind of, in the privacy of his own home, follow the janitors. Oh, well. Never mind, it tells you what to do. I love the way he just does this. It's the you best. Got another thing. one of those, Harvey? Who are you? The guy with your best interests at heart. Fill your pockets with money, and all you gotta do is take a little vacation. Hey, I work two jobs, man. I'll take any break I can get. Good. Hey, you want the beer? Nah, I'll just take the overalls. Oh, and your ID. It's in there. Oh, and Harvey. I probably don't need to say this. But you don't play ball? I'll be forced to do something I really don't want to do. Enjoy your beer. See what I mean? Like that? 
It's like, here I am. Play. You want to play ball? Sure. I, it was just... I don't know. I have a lot of respect for that. I don't know. I don't have any other way to explain it. But yeah, it was a very explicit dream. And uh, part of me actually wants to see it again. Successful? I would oh, want to yeah. go through that. I'd want to Take see it me again, back to the that factory. Was one of those things that you just never really... It was horrific. I mean, it was worse than any kind of horror movie. That was and what's easy. Worse is like Guess they, you were right. Steve Haynes is a shitty boss. Hey, doing. I called Frank while it's you were killing. in there. He's coming to meet us. Yeah, huh? What do we need him for? But, Grunt work. You know, I survived gathering. the night. What information? The plans to the office. It wasn't like there the aren't Matrix, any digital even though copies I think you can wake up dead. I'm not clever enough to I, find them. The there, there was a point LS where I thought so my heart I stopped Frank to kill him, take a hard copy. Sounds and, complicated. Well, you sure you need these plans? The yeah, once. I do. If I'm going to find a way to bypass a couple of hundred million dollars worth of government security. Yeah, Millions? Kind of rough. Hey, Frank, they blew that much. Government contracts. License to steal. License to mother ah, love. He's already here. But yeah, I, there was one dream where like my heart stopped and I could feel. I, I remember when uh, I felt like my heart skip a beat and it, it was it was scary man like I, I think your dreams have the potential to kill you and it's, I'm not saying that because like Freddy Krueger and stuff like that I'm, I'm saying hey what's the problem your mind bro? controls Steve your heart really fucking Haynes. <laughs> of course it's Steve fucking Haynes it's always Steve Haynes if your heart says not or if your brain true. says stop heart See, Steve Haynes <laughs> or it's Trevor it's his family it's always one of them yeah that's true it is always one of them well that old fuck with a horrible family and even worse friends I told you Franklin <laughs> I ain't a good role model. Period. Yeah, whatever, dawg. It's either this or dealing dime bags. The bullets come cracking at your ass either way. Yeah, Dang right. Thanks. We need to find out I something think Michael really appreciated that. about this FIB building. A weakness or a way in. Next time I meet a morally destitute, totally delusional, highly corrupt government agent. I hope he's a nice one. Yeah, yeah, I'm not going right. in that motherfucker by myself. No, 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 no. Nobody is going in. We need to do some recon. We need a little more information. She. I need the architectural plans, but they're oh. not online anywhere, so I'm going to need paper cards. Now, the architect's name is Chip Peterson. This was his first big commission, and the office is down in Backlot City. All right. Franklin, you go tell him for a little while, and then we'll talk. All right, dog, I got you. All right, homie. Try not to hurt yourself. Oh, good, good, good. That's a bit of a... It's a heavy situation. Like, there's, like, no jokes flying anywhere. It's just, like, let's do this. You know what I'm saying? Cleaned out, dude. I almost got it. Dude, what is going on out here? It's a city, man. The city ain't pretty, but that's okay. Like that one song I wrote. But anyway, man. Yeah, I, I got some weird dreams. Sometimes. Like when I was living with Nathan. Uh, well, not when I was living with him, but like right after. Or no, maybe before. Before I was living with him, I had these two really crazy dreams, and they both had to do with how the world began. Oh, now that was not my fault. You cannot blame me on that one. Come on, game. Dang it. Ah, just in case I wasn't having enough fun already. Anyway, I, and, you know. Oh, no. No, one of them was how the world began. The other one was how the world was going to end. Yeah. You and it was, fucking uh, idiot. interesting, to say the least. Beautiful to look at, too. But, uh, might as well explain them, right? I got nothing else to talk about. Uh, the one where the world began, 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 began the, uh, there was this huge mountain. Huge, enormous mountain. We're talking about Pangea standing up on its side. Alright? Enormous. And it had, it was essentially the Tower of Babel. You know, how all these different kinds of cultures and languages were living in one area. You know what I mean? It was kind of like that deal. Like every. Uh, culture and society on the, in, the, in the world at the time was living on that because obviously there was no real and uh, at the top of this mountain was an orb and a staff I don't know where this comes from ladies and gentlemen this is what I dreamed uh, it was an orb and a staff and everything lived in harmony essentially but here's the, here's the deal. Uh, aliens, right? Apparently we had a uh, connection with them, to say the least. And, well, apparently things didn't go so well. And the aliens decided to destroy the world. Or that mountain, which had the world in it. You know what I mean? Uh-oh. Hang on. Are 
reuniting the family. Oh, dude, come up to a lonely house. Oh, man, come to a bottle of Jackish Mount or whatever they do. Oh, that's a lot. Of, that's a lot of liver, liquor for your liver, man. NADH oxidation, give me a beer. Light it, light it, light it, light it, light it, light Alcohol. And what else is there to do? Like, that, that's me without the alcohol. I come home and play some video games. It's got Mario on the screen instead of some old movie. Hey! Hey! What? <clears throat> Daddy O. Oh. Hey. I'm sorry I spiked you, okay? I just, I get so mad and I can't control things, and then, <laughs> you know, shit just falls on top of me. My life sucks right now, and I don't know what to Your do, except sucks. I want to say I love you and hug it out, but all that wimpy shit is just. Well, I'd Wait. say gay, but I have some friends who are gay, so that's not cool anymore. And the ones that I don't wow. really like, it's not because they're gay. So, <laughs> lame, all right? You are just a lame and angry psycho sometimes. You do bad shit and things. I don't know if I love you, and I'm pretty sure I hate you a little bit, but I'm just so fucking upset that we can't even see each other. And you're just a drunk, lame dad. You know what? That might just be the nicest thing anybody's ever said to me. So will you buy me a car? <laughs> what? I mean, not in this so will you buy me a car kind of way, in a completely off topic, can you buy me a car? I mean, firstly, I'm a, a fat shit that you ruined. And, and secondly, I will get a job and I will stop smoking pot in that sort of way, okay? I love you too, son. <laughs> now, go. Get a job. Because I don't have the money to buy you a car. Besides which way, I'm probably gonna be dead in a couple weeks anyway. Please don't die, okay? Yeah, it's great catching up with you two, Dad. <laughs> Man, I thought my family hey. was dysfunctional. Uh, how's your mother? Oh, she's great. <sighs> no, she's not. She's bored. I mean, all this mesmerizing, tantric sex she's been having with a much younger, better-built, caring and compassionate man is great and all. Uh, What's she gonna do for the other six hours still of the day? Married. What the fuck? I I'm just winding you up, you miserable bastard. <laughs> she's mad at you. She's scared that you're gonna die, and she wants you to go over there and prove that you give a fuck. All right, just all right, all right. Once, you know? so I can take a fucking fire. hit. Let's go. We'll get <laughs> Tracy on the way. Tracy, on the other hand, yeah, where is she's she? a star. Sort of. We're going to get her. Okay, I don't care what she's doing. I don't care if she's hanging out with Lazlo or not. We're going to get her! I think my daughter! Bean machine. Dry humping the stage. Uh. Bean machine. Excuse me. So, ladies, let's get our family back as we push our son down the three steps. So, yeah. So, what happened was, I'm going to finish this and then we'll end the, uh, end the video. Or my so, story. Well, never mind. If they're going to talk, what's I'll been start happening? my story. Finish story. You know, I don't know. Stuff? No, I don't know. Well, what's been happening with you? Uh, thanks. It's been, it's. It's anyone's guess. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, I guess. Where is she? You Trace. out of the city? Trace. Oh, okay. Trace. Here they are. Okay. Trace face. Come on. Who's that? Your curling has been sluggish for weeks. Oh, that's, that's A little Amanda. bit less. Lifestyle goop. Uh, excuse me, hey, look, I'm trying to write a screen. Shush, here. woman. <laughs> hey, Amanda. Fabian. Michael. Hi, you doing? Mom. Hi, Jimmy. Hey. This is true. A picture of holistic well-being. I don't think. Hey. Maybe they excuse shit me? once a year between them. Hey, oh. Excuse me. That's my son. Amanda, come. I have a new unit on hold. You must pay for it. Hey. Hey, buddy. I'm gonna ask politely that you show my wife a little respect. Dang right. Red meat has been blocking your chi as well as your digestive tract. Oh god, he's about to get it. I ain't even gonna go there. I'm gonna ask you one time, nicely. Michael, just hit him, please. Thank him, Shush, bro. woman! Anything for you, sweetheart. What? Well, what are you uh, Hell yeah! I had some really good work there, you dick! There's a lot more where that came from, Holmes. <laughs> Is he alive? Mm. Yeah, he's fine. Yeah, he's fine. Listen, Amanda. Dude. I wanted. I'm meaning to say to you. I just. What he's trying to say, Mom, is that he is a pathetic, old, drunken mess and he needs you. Aww. And you could do a lot better than a prima donna yoga instructor with an anal fixation. Did someone say. Shut up! Oh! 
Like father, like son. I guess we could try. Let's All I'm it. asking for is a shot. I miss you so much. Neutral ground. Dr. Friedlander's office. Oh. It's perfect. All of us. I'll pick up Tracy and bring her there. Meet you? Fine. Fine. All right, you. Yeah, you jerk. Come on. Get up, you idiot. <laughs> yoga? No. No yoga. No yoga. <sighs> Poor guy. All right. You know where your sister is, right? Yeah. Let's go. Wait, 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 but what about that sugar, caffeine, and emulsified pig fat flavored beverage I want? What? Another time. Oh. Come on, I want one too. Later. <laughs> Alright, like, we're gonna pick up. Meant to be at the tattoo parlor. Oh my god. Oh, excuse me, I'm trying to get in my car, please. We're gonna go pick her up in the next episode. I don't think we're gonna keep her good. She's got kids on the flip side. And peace.